Jeff and Jay here with another edition of Jay's Big Adventure. Jay's the Fuzzy Guy. And today we are doing part two of our air suspension rebuild. We started this project because the rear air suspension has sacked all the way down. And as you can tell, it is significantly lower than it should be. And we took the pump out, worked on that for a little bit. Um, the pump wasn't running. Uh, we got it running, put it back in the car, and the next morning the suspension was still uh, at full compression. So there's a leak somewhere that's what we're going to try to find today. The car has 135,000 miles on it, so we are going to replace the airbags uh, just prophylactically, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. If that's not the problem, we will have to replace the pump and the valve block, and uh, those parts are on the way. With this kind of miles, and because this is a commercial vehicle for me, I cannot have it down uh, once the winter starts and we start driving people up to the ski resorts. So we're gonna do this before the system actually completely fails. But to do that, what we're gonna do is go back under the car where we were before. And to let the air out, we need to remove these two lines. So to do that, we have to take this, this connector out and the main power wire. And now we can get a wrench on these two air lines and just loosen them up enough to let the air pressure out. Once you remove these 10 millimeter nuts, that relieves all the air pressure that may be left in the system. And now we can go jack the car up and work on getting that airbag out. One of the difficulties of this type of project is to show you what I'm actually looking at. So we're gonna give this a whirl. And this is the rear suspension. Here's the airbag. What we're trying to get to at this point are the clips that are underneath this that go through this control arm. So let's see if I can get up in here to show that. Once that's loose, then we can lift this up, pull it down and remove it. Or at least that's the plan. So when in doubt, use brute force. And what I did is I just took my pry bar and got up under here and it just snapped right out. So now you can see that this is loose. Now we need to rotate it I think it's counterclockwise and it should pull out. This is gonna take both hands. To make room for the bag to come out, I just put my pry bar in here and just gently pulled the suspension down. And you can see it moves pretty easily. So with that pulled down, Now we can move the bag. That made it really simple. Now all we need to do is take this line out of here and pull the insert out of the end of that, pull the hose through, and then replace it with the new one. With the line cut, it just pulls right out. So I got these connectors from SCP Euro and they do not look like they're the same thing. This is a completely different connector to this one until you actually start looking at it. And I've since dropped the other piece, but if you look, here's the split ring that we took off the other hose. It looks like this plastic piece is just keeping it all together. And in fact, it pulls apart. And now here is our ring. The next step is to insert the hose through the hole. And into the interior of the airbag. Once that's done, we'll install the nut. that installed, 
we install the retaining clip and this is beveled on one side and you would think the bevel would go this way to seal against the nut but it doesn't it goes the other way and goes into the airbag and that's where it's going to seal This clip was kind of a bugger to get on here. I ended up spreading it with a, a screwdriver, but it is uh, it is on. And so now when we tighten this into the airbag, it'll make a tight seal. I didn't actually do this on camera, but I took a magic marker and marked where the bag was when it was uh, in its proper orientation and then referenced that to the, um, th to the port for the hose. And I've transferred that to the new bag. It's a little hard to see, but it's right here. Now when I get this up in there, I'll be able to see exactly what the orientation is. And that should help it uh, get up into the, uh, the tabs at the top that lock it into the car. So once you've got the bag in on the top, you can snap it into the bottom. Now if the suspension has sagged too far down to make that happen, I just took another jack and just jacked it up right here on the uh, um, on the bottom of the lower control arm and lifted that up with the jack and it snapped right into place and now it is holding steady. We're gonna bolt the tire back on and then crawl into the front of the car and reconnect the lines to the compressor and hopefully it all works. Now with the bolts tightened, we'll get our torque wrench and set them to 83 pound-feet. So with the car back on the ground, it's now time to reconnect the air hoses. And these are left and right. If you look at the way they come in here, the red one is on the inside. The blue one's on the outside. If you get those backwards, they will mess with the computer because the ride height sensors won't match the air supply. <laughs> Don't ask me uh, how I know that. So now the question is, does it work? Let's find out. I about had a heart attack. I bet it's not gonna work until we replace the fuse. Now let's try it. It is alive! <laughs> oh. Back to normal ride height. Man, we got a mess clean up. I got a bunch of tools out. And we've got to put all those screws back in the underbody cladding. But uh, we did it and it works. And uh, that is what we were trying to accomplish today. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And we'll have more videos out soon.